This book is called The Incorrigible Children of Ashton Place, The Mysterious Howling. Penelope Lumley is hired as a governess, a teacher, for three children. For these are three very unusual children. Alexander, Cassiopeia, and Beowulf, see, were raised by wolves. Or so it seems with how they behave. There are other mysteries at Ashton Place, where the children and Miss Lumley go to live. The London Eye Mystery takes place in London, where the London Eye is a giant Ferris wheel. Some kids went to the London Eye with one of their cousins, and they watched as the pods of the Ferris wheel went up and up and came back down. But when it came back down, their cousin was missing. Solve this mystery, you'll have to read to find out. Benicula by Deborah and James Howe is the first book in the series that was one of my favorites when I was in elementary school. Chester and Harold, the dog, live with a family. And one day, the family returns from the movie theater with a black and white rabbit in a box that they found there. Chester the cat is instantly suspicious and believes there's something quite strange about Benicula. In fact, he thinks Benicula is a vampire, but not a normal vampire. He doesn't think Benicula sucks blood. He thinks Benicula sucks the, the juices out of vegetables. And Chester will go to all sorts of tricks to try and get Benicula out of the house, while Harold tries to protect the rabbit. The series continues with Howl Day In, The Celery Stalks at Midnight, Nighty Nightmare, Return to Howl a Day In, and Benicula Strikes Back. The last book today is another first in the series. This is called The Field Guide, and it's part of the Spiderwick Chronicles by Holly Black and Tony Dizzarelli. In this story, three children and their mom move into a new house, but they're not the only ones living in the house. There's some kind of creature there, and there's also their Uncle Arthur's Field Guide to all sorts of different fantastical creatures.